might want to slow down a little bit there, soldier. Oh, I, uh, I haven't had anything to drink in quite a while, so uh, I uh, indulge myself just a little bit. And I'm kind of sick of corn liquor, you know, because, uh, you know, well, you see what's corn, around us. Yeah. yeah. I get that. Well, I'm just glad that you came back with me after Corn Fest. I feel privileged. You're the winner of the corn eating contest. Well, you know, I, uh, I have a I have an affinity for corn, and uh, you know I, uh, mm, and uh, you know I figured that uh, I'm the king of this area, and I figured I could eat my weight in corn, and by God, I'm gonna do so. Sounds like it. But I tell you what, the corn around here, I hear they use growth hormones and all kinds of weird stuff. Like I even heard people have seen lights around here, and. Some people are even saying there are some alien growth hormone rays or something. Alien what? Alien growth hormone? I read it in your brother's newspaper. Oh, uh, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess they'll get, do anything to get news these days. No, I mean, he's got, have you seen his YouTube channel? He's got, he's got video of Bigfoot. Uh, it's it's probably his wife and you know dressed up and no of, I heard her I heard Delbert came out here and nobody seen him and she no. doesn't shave her legs it could have just been her and they could have been doing something God knows what I mean whatever you had too much to drink mm, I'm just getting started no I think we I think we need to get up and get some exercise oh. what do you say if uh, we play a little hide and seek out here. See if there is a monster out there, and maybe you might find me in my birthday suit. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll give you ten swig head start. <laughs> uh, ten swigs, and I don't think you're gonna make it off this blanket. But let's see. <sighs> Come on! Get your drunk ass up, buddy. All right, baby. Ready or not, here I come. Hey, come on, Corn King. I got something you're gonna want. Oh, oh, my goodness, what do we got here? Oh. Ooh, baby. Did you find that? I got something else for you too. Drunk ass motherfucker, find that. Oh. Oh yeah, baby. I think there's a monster in here now. Wait till I get my pants down. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Drunkie. Got another thing for ya. What in the hell? Weird ass scarecrow. Well, here you go. Cause my man's probably drunk somewhere, passed out. You're not. All right, come get me. You got competition, boy. No, oh, no. Oh. Who the, who the hell is that? Hey, baby, kind of keep you shitty you went to. Oh, oh, I'm just gonna sit out and relax for a minute. Oh, oh. Where the hell are you? Oh, my God. I'm gonna leave you one more thing down here. Best be finding it for me. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna go take my chances with the corn stalk dude back there. At least the shark had a heart on.
don't, you're, I'm fine. I just don't want you to worry about me, okay? And don't send anybody down here to check on me at the Ace Motel either. Hey, um, sis, I've got to go, okay? Okay, yeah, I'll talk to you in a little bit. Okay, bye. <laughs> well, look at you. <laughs> You're all dressed up and incognito. I thought the coronavirus was over by now. <laughs> so I thought anyway. <laughs> Are you looking to party by chance? Do you have a room here? Okay, here's the deal. 60 up front and 60 when we're done. Is that okay? Or aren't you a true gentleman <laughs> with all those teeth? With all those sharp teeth. I bet you love to bite, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, look at all of this cool stuff! Dude, you must really be into sharks or something. <laughs> you know, you can bite me at no extra charge. <sighs> oh my god! Like, what is all of this stuff? And Great White is the greatest creature that ever lived. Hmm. They are goddesses. Sharks are older than trees, you know, huh. and dinosaurs. 450 million years old. They don't age. They don't get cancer. <laughs> Strong. Fearless. <laughs> Merciless. <laughs> well, the only species to have survived four out of the five extinctions. Nobody knows the power of the Great White. <laughs> but they're about to find out. We are one with them. <laughs> okay, so what are you like? A marine biologist or something? Like, um... George Costanza. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's an inspiration. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what do you have here? It's a nice big set of teeth you have there. Mm-hmm. Are you like gonna those? fight me with this or something? <laughs> so good at what you do. <laughs> Try okay. this on. Are you gonna wear this like a crown? The true goddesses of this world. This is your bidding, Chichi Matul. This is my offering. My work is near complete.
so tell me again what happened here. The last thing I remember is that we, we came back from the festival and that uh, we decided to have some alone time and I was kind of want to spend a little, you know, a little time with Susan, you know. Um, anyway, we, um, we decided to, you know, have a few drinks and um, things got a little heated and we decided to play a little uh, strip and go seek and she took off. So in other words, you made a pass at her. She didn't like it. She got pissed off. You got too aggressive. And then she fought off. Fought I mean, you. no, Constable. I mean, it was absolutely nothing like that. I mean, I, I had a few drinks and we were, you know, running through here. I was picking up her, her clothes as we went along and things were getting exciting and uh, I just must have too much to drink and, I, and I, I passed out. And you didn't see anything or hear anything? Uh, I mean, no, I didn't. I mean, honestly, I, I, you got to believe me, I didn't. Well, what do you make of that mauling she got? From the looks of things, it looks, I mean, it could have been a wild animal. I mean, it could have been a Bigfoot. Bigfoot? Aliens? You and your brother Jonathan would like that, wouldn't you? Be great press and publicity for his newspaper and real estate ventures. Get people to come out here and buy some of these farms look for old Sasquatch. By the way, your brother, where is he? I, hello, I don't know. It's my day to keep up with him. Don't get smart with me, Gary. We got ourselves a murder investigation here. Susan Blake was a beautiful, well-loved woman in these parts. Churchgoer. She was a librarian, for God's sakes. I'm inclined to believe that you and your brother had something to do with this. For your own reasons. That's what I'm talking about, Bubba. I, I, seriously? I mean, have you seen the bites and scratches? I've seen them. You guys could have made anything up to have make that happen and it got all creature features with some device or something like that where would you say your brother was uh, as far as i know he was in lexington doing a uh real estate uh videoing and showing some houses you know doing his damn job well i want to talk with him in the meantime i'm going to take your fat ass down to the station i'm going to process you and then we're going to investigate this further Flat Officer Rosenberg, anything from our field team out there? Just a scarecrow with a, a shark's head and Susan's tracks and lots and lots of condoms. Uh, should we close the cornfield? No, no, I don't think we should be closing the cornfields. We got everything we need right here. Besides, it's harvest season. People got to pay their bills. Right? Shock scarecrow. Huh.
problems? Not the way you face in third world shitholes before. Alright. Let me get your money. Half now, half after I sell the item. Like we agreed. Sounds like a deal to me. Let's make it happen. than a cob, ain't it? Get a good nap in while I finish this work. I know I saw you in here. Come to Mama. My, my, my. What big feet you have. I guess. I'll just have to follow your footprints. I'm Jonathan Godlieb, and I'm here to offer you a little slice of Kentucky magic right here in Druid Hills. You can be a monster hunter. You can look all around for all the creatures the locals say they see. And if you're interested, I'm ready to sell your property today. 1-800-BIG-FEET. That's right, 1-800-BIG-FEET for Jonathan Gottlieb. That's me, we're Druid Hills Realty all the way. I swear, you make sure you stay in Druid Hills with that bologna sandwich stuff. We've got enough problems in this world without adding Bigfoot to the mix. Shatter to Grossman. You copy? Copy, Chief. Go ahead. You got anything going on out there? No, ma'am. Quiet day. Candy store bandits. Hey, I, I had Gardner drive by Lauren's place. 
stay on the other side of her. Okay, over and out. Out, babe. I don't think that's protocol, sir. Um, we wouldn't want another visit to the HR now, would we? Oh, uh, sorry about that. Uh, chief. Over and out. That looks weird. Mr. Shark, get your license and registration on you. Get out of the car. Get out of the car now. Put your hands up where I can see them. Put your hands up. Put your Where's your dildo, Get cop? Up against the car. You don't know what the fuck you're doing? I know what I'm doing. Get out on the fucking ground. What are you, some fucking rookie? Huh? Successive force, pig. Even more excessive, you piece of shit. I'm gonna bite you in there. You're not gonna bite shit. This is great. It's all for us, you see, my doll. Right to remain. Why don't you sit on my face, you fucking pig? Anything you say or do can be used against you in a court of law. <laughs> a court of law? You're not gonna make it to a court of law. Neither are you, you shark boy, if you keep this fucking shit up. Grossman. I need you to send some backup right now. <laughs> Hurry. <laughs> Thank you.
Yes, Gary, how many times are you gonna call? This is like 500. I'm, I'm really busy right now. <clears throat> Jail? What are you talking about? What? What do you mean, murder? Okay, 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 just calm down. Look, I'll be there as fast as I can. Just hang, hang tight, brother. I wish I could say I'm glad to see you. Always a pleasure, Jeffrey. See you have your goon squad with you? Hey, you know you can't be too careful. When you're chasing diamonds in the sky, you can never be too careful. Certainly. So, do you have the item? Of course I do. Not exactly with me. But it's close by. So there's a uh, trust issue. Sounds like there's a trust issue. Let's just say I want to get the money first. And then I'll give you the map that tells you where the item is. So where is it? Close by. Do you have the money? Nice. All you guys have such great personalities. Each one unique and different too. <laughs> oh, it's so nice of you to notice. So there is a trust issue. I'm not quite sure if you all are the good guys. Murray, Murray, Murray. Where have you been? We're two decades into the 21st century, man. There are no good guys anymore. Just gray coats. Blending of the dark and the light. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. Will you just shut up? Sorry, boss. And by the way, you'll notice, Murray, you don't see any of us wearing any shark tooth necklaces or bracelets. Gray suits with white bellies. Just like sharks. Ready to maul the world. Well, uh, Murray, it really depends on things like agenda and perspective, if you know what I mean. I don't like this guy. I don't trust him. So, do you want the money now or not? I guess I do. And to get as far away from here as possible. Well, you can try. And the money will surely give you that option. Watch my back. Go get that shishy metal pup. You're on this shit. They're on it. They're on it. I'm not saying I don't trust you. I just don't trust you. It ain't right. You can trust me. You can trust him. So it 
should have been right over here somewhere. I think it might be. Did we pass the road? Wait, what's that? Wait, hold on. Hold this. Hold this. I think I found it. Impossible. I silenced them all. Angel. Go get the shushing of the pup. Go get the pup. Go get the pup. Get the pup. I'm sorry, boss. Benchley, get back here, you scoundrel. He's got the, he's got the sharp putt. He's got the money. He's got oh. both. Benchley, Benchley, you're finished. You're finished. I'm so tired. I don't even want to eat. The shark's got Zoe and Joey. Do you want me to go after Benchley? No, that won't be necessary. I planned ahead. I planted a GPS tracking device in that money bag. We're gonna be on them like wrath. Uh, then off to the egg beater! Let's go. Now, Teddy, we're gonna start at the beginning again. Is that okay? Yeah. Sure, you got another milkshake for me. When we begin, this time I'm gonna record you. <clears throat> Just so you know. Yeah, that's fine. The end is almost upon us anyway, sweetie. Got 
kind of a outdated recorder machine you got there, huh? It's mine from home, if you must know. And defunding and budget cuts from all the police departments. It's happening everywhere, you know? I believe it. Great white lives matter, you know? <laughs> okay, Teddy. That was funny. All right. Testing. Testing, one, two, three. Okay. So. Okay, I'm with Teddy Bo Lucas in interrogation room B in Chance, Kentucky. The date is September 13th. And he's speaking to me of his own free will, <laughs> waiving the right to a lawyer. Right, Teddy? Correct, Mundo. Another milkshake, please, or maybe some fries. Well, you're in luck. As I was saying, Teddy also has the right to remain silent. <clears throat> Anything he says or does can be used against him in a court of law. He has waived his right to an attorney and has been told that one would be provided for him if he so desires. Right, Teddy? Surely. Yes, ma'am. All right, Teddy. Let's get into things. So I pulled you over for a traffic infraction and I found dismembered body parts in your vehicle. Are you denying that? No denial. It's just my work. I've been on the road for years, all over the Midwest states. Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Ohio, here in Kentucky. Just killing folks. Killed so many, I barely remember their faces. So are you trying to tell me that you're a mass murderer? Well, that's what you want to call it, yes. This is my calling in life. Do you think that you're the infamous killer that the media has dubbed the Great White Ripper? Is that what you're telling me? I mean, the one whose favorite way is to use sharp teeth to, to rip people's faces off and stuff? Is that what you're telling me? These fries are rubbery. They are too cold and chewy for my taste. But yes, that's exactly how I kill someone. I am the shark the predator. I am one with the great white goddess Chichimato. I see. So how long have you been out there killing innocent people, Teddy? Oh, not innocent. No one is innocent. For they all fall short of uh, reaching their true potential. Not evolved in any way, shape, or form. The new Chichimato order is coming. I kill for sacrifices. They are martyrs. Their blood will initiate a new establishment of society. And so this Chichi Metol, as you call it, is this your god? Goddess. Great white shark goddess. There is no higher aspiration than to be one with her to usher in her bidding of a new species of shark humanoids. A loftier, perfect new race that will rule the world. Great whites are focused, higher-end predators. They never lose. 25-foot torpedoes shooting through the sea like bullets. Afraid of nothing, propelling themselves completely out of the water when necessary. Air demons, no bounds, no mercy. Mouths are lined with up to 300 serrated triangular teeth, and they have an exceptional sense of smell to detect prey. As we will become sharkanoids from the deep, they even have organs to sense the tiny electromagnetic fields generated by prey and the higher alien calling of transformation pulsating from Stonehenge. 
Everything is falling into place as we speak. We give the world nightmares as it sleeps. <laughs> Teddy, you're really starting to give me a headache with all this gibberish that you're just spewing out here. How many people have you killed out there on the road? Oh, I have no clue. Endless. Hundreds. It's simply part of my process, these sacrifices. The Stonehenge signals tell me what to do, which is why I allowed myself to be caught. Things are wrapping up. Stonehenge signals? <laughs> like voices in your head, maybe? Pul pulsing sensations that mystically guide me. And I'm not the only one, you know. There are hundreds more like me out on the road. All members of the shark cult on their way to becoming. We're not even afraid of the devil, man. He fears us, for we have teeth and we bite. So, do you happen to believe in Bigfoot too? Huh? <laughs> Never mind. <sighs> When we first met, you said I looked familiar. Do you know this girl? She's missing. And we found some of her blood in the motel room. My, my. She looks a lot like you. I couldn't be sure, but yeah, I probably offed her. So many, it's all just a blur of gray. Like a dead end job, you know. My reward is in the becoming. All right, Teddy. Where are all the bodies buried of those that you killed? I'm not sure. It's not like there's an address or anything. For me, it's just this one cornfield. I could take you there though, show you. Once I feel the winding roads, I'll know how to get there. I could ride there blindfolded. All right. Well, how about you and me take a little ride and you take me there? as soon as I found out. I'll bet you did. I bet you were the one phone call your brother Gary made. I can't believe you're still holding him. Who else am I going to hold? He's suspect number one, and then there's you. Me? Are you out of your mind? I was in Lexington. You can check. And besides, you know Gary couldn't do anything like that. It's crazy. Well, let's see here what we got here. Mr. Bob Woodward himself, prize-winning editor, Pulitzer Prize, Corn Magazine. But I digress. Not exactly Rolling Stone. We got one dead lo lo local hardy here, Susan Blake. And we got your brother, Gary, running around in the cornfields. Lots of boozing going on and schmoozing. Let me ask you a question. Who you think did it? Friggin' Bigfoot? Maybe it was the Bigfoot in your TV commercial, the one where brother Gary is running around playing the Sasquatch. Come on, man. Quit drinking the Kool-Aid. That doesn't make any sense. It's bad PR. Bad PR, good PR, Bigfoot. You don't care. Gossip. Anything that's good for your own real estate ventures and publicity. Well, you know what, Gottlieb? Nobody likes you in this town, let alone Mayor Zanuck or me. We don't like the fact that you came for money, right? And we had to bust our asses and make a living through farming and corn. You run around with your newspaper, all your real estate listings, and run this town 
airing everybody's dirty laundry and publicizing it in your newspaper. Hell, you put the stuff in there about me and my mistress. I didn't appreciate that. That caused me a lot of pain. I almost lost this job. So don't expect any sympathy from me, Mr. Moneybags. <sighs> Look, I have something that you need to see. I was videoing some properties with my drone for my real estate videos and I recorded this for the second time. First time I thought I was, I don't know, hallucinating or seeing things, but this... But you expect me to believe there's sharks in the cornfields. You can see it with your own eyes. Kramer, we have got to tell Mayor Zanuck to close down all the cornfields in Druid Hills. And then we gotta try and figure out what's going on. I've done a little research and it turns out there's this shark cult that... I had enough of this malarkey. I want you out of my office right now. That looks like there's some clouds in the sky going by or some crazy false computer imagery. You do anything to get publicity for your newspaper. Listen yeah. to yourself, Kramer. It makes no sense. I came as soon as my brother called. I wouldn't have time to do anything like that. Well, furthermore, this is the best corn harvest we've had in years. Weather's been perfect. Everything's been going well. And if you expect to come out with one peep about something as stupid as farmers and the cornfields and sharks out there, I'm gonna have you out of here for fake news propaganda. Why don't you put something in your newspaper about you and your brother Gary being indicted for murder? Fine, just fine. Kramer, as ludicrous as it sounds, those are sharks. And I know what a shark looks like because I keep seeing them in the cornfields. Now, I've researched what I think this is, and I'm pretty good at my job, so you had better do something about this, or you won't have to worry about getting sued or being ruined. If this turns out to be what I think it is, because there won't be anybody left. I don't see anything in there. I think he's crazy. So, Chief, you about ready? I guess as ready as I'll ever be. Well, I could go with you. Uh, you know, I'm not opposed to that. Well, I appreciate that, Sam. But I really need somebody here with a good head on their shoulders to keep a watch out on the office and make sure everything runs smoothly. And in case I don't make it back. Uh, thanks, but then don't talk like that. You're going to be fine. This is not really on the up and up. I mean, I really should have given all the information that I have to the state police, the FBI. But also, on a good note, this may put me on a map for bigger and better things. And most importantly, to find out if Teddy killed Lorna. Well, I know it's personal. Mm -hmm. And since you're going to do it this way, I brought you this. This is something we got from a uh, peaceful protest a couple weeks ago. I think there's plenty of uh, weapons in there that you might find useful. Do you have to use it? I know you'll put each thing to good use.
Are you wired into the GPS that Benchley's uh, carrying? Yes, I am. Got the little varmint. Got the varmint. Let's go. Let's go. if you keep him out here much longer. Oh, yes. Oh, that was a good one. <laughs> Lighten up, Barbara. Trying to have a little father-son time here. It's not like we get to do this every day. I know, I know. You just have to watch it. I mean, there's no ozone left, all the ultraviolet rays. You have to watch it when they're young. You know that already, okay? What is wrong with her? Did you put sunscreen on him? Oh, no. All right, you got 10 more minutes and then we gotta go because grandma's making cowboy cornbread casserole. Not that garbage disposal junk again. Last time we threw it straight in the garbage. What do you think we're gonna do with it this time? Eat it? snakes in the corn. Gosh, that's a well you'll be alright. Get in and get it. Sorry I threw it back in there so shark! <laughs> <laughs> You better hope you're being straight with me, teddy bear. Because if you're not, you and me are going to have some problems. Straight as a roundabout. Man. Now what does that mean? It means everything is about to come full circle. The fullest blood moon prophecy will rise on the appropriate night. Maybe this one and the cosmic revelations and forces of Stonehenge will be fully empowered. That's why I had to keep my shark tooth on. I don't want to miss being transformed. So wait, you're saying Stonehenge gives off some sort of signal to your shark goddess, Chichi Methyl, <laughs> a real great white shark, you and your cult worship? Yes, 
The signal will be received by her electromagnetic sensitivity, not only used for prey, but for intuitive commands like this, when the becoming is to begin. We have members that have been keeping track of her, following her in the Atlantic for decades now. All for the becoming. That's an incredible belief, teddy bear. I mean, it is a little far-fetched, though. Mock it, if you will, cop. I already have electro-reception. I can smell your fear like sweat. Something else. Not much left old Billy in there, but lots of blood on the corn stalks. Jesus Christ, what in the name of Randy Travis is going on around here, Kramer? Well, Mr. Mayor, it, they say... They, they, blah, 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 spit it out already. They said it was a shark attack. They said that uh, Billy went in to get his frisbee and... <laughs> shark ate him right up. A shark attack. Who said that? Some damn crackhead? Somebody snorting airplane glue? Mushroom eaters? Shit. I've known the Albagas for years. They're straight and narrow, churchgoers, white bread eaters. Kind of eat the extra fiber with every meal. We had a similar incident, Mr. Mayor, about a week or so ago in those yonder fields, maybe a mile away. Gary Gottlieb and Susan Blake, same kind of thing happened to them. Which means Gary should be free, gentlemen. We had him locked up when this happened. So can we spring my brother now? Oh, Jesus, I need this like a damn Billy Goat Pecker going out the top of my head. What the hell are you doing here, Gottlieb? Well, Mr. Mayor, I, I'm the news of the people around here, and so I'm here in my official capacity with the Corn Gazette, as well as having a personal stake in this matter. So, Mr. Newsman, what's your big take on all this? Who's behind these gruesome murders? Bigfoot? Loch Ness Monster? The Booga Man? Well, all right, generally the Bigfoot thing is just more of an advertising conjecture to help me sell farms. You know. It's in one big fat country fib. So in fancy fancy talk, it's just a bunch of bulldog gravy with no damn bacon on it. Well, I, uh, look, did I say I saw Bigfoot? No, but people around here say they saw Bigfoot. Are they making it up? I don't know, but I didn't make that up. You know, I was worried I would run into Bigfoot out here, and then I'd have a lot of explaining to do. Now, I've been looking into it since I started seeing sharks in the cornfields with my drones I filmed my real estate videos with. Take a look at this, Mr. Mayor. I don't believe this shit. As you can see, there are sharks in the cornfields. Now, I've done some deep dive research on this, and these fields, all these fields are on an ancient burial ground. And there's this shark cult that worships a humanoid shark goddess. And they believe she's about to return, and when she does, they'll be transformed into hybrids, changed into shark people. I think all you have to have to go with Bigfoot, Godlin. This shit's ridiculous. All I see is a bunch of clouds, weird figures up in the clouds. Hell, people see weird stuff like that in the clouds all the time. My grandma saw the devil jump a rope one time in the clouds. You all have your heads in the clouds. You, even with the video evidence right in front of you, you won't believe. Listen, I know it sounds completely insane. But lives have been lost, including a little boy's, directly in front of you. Now, this situation is only going to get worse and worse as the energy source in that cornfield gets stronger and stronger. Soon, those 
corn sharks will be able to get out of the field. And there's no telling what they'll be able to do when they get loose. Now, I think that they're in fields all over the place, maybe all over the world. Jonathan, why don't you go back to your office with that corn cob pipe, put some hash in it, and toke on a little bit harder. Something crazy is going on here, and you better do something about it before it swims up and bites you in the cord hole. Now, can we please close down these cornfields and try and get a handle on this? Can't you see, you idiot? It's harvest season and a damn good one. People around here, that's how they make a living, off of selling the corn. I'm not gonna shut the cornfield down, that's just ludicrous. Now, if you think there's some kind of Bigfoot or monster out here injuring people, like they did those poor people, the little redneck boy and all these farmers, you and your boys, you go catch them. Take them down, get them out of here. Jeez. Look, this is way bigger than any of us can fathom. Do you hear? Hey, Mr. Rosenberg. Go with the base. Just got a report from Ellen May at the Williams farm. She said that the boys and some friends uh, stumbled into the cornfield and there were some traps or something. They're all shook up and uh, they ain't making much sense. They say there's a lot of blood and body parts and, well, they're afraid to go into the field because... Because why? Well, it's to sound crazy, but because of sharks in the cornfield, they say they uh, can see the fins and they appear to be about 8 to 10 foot great white. Never go swimming with bow-legged women. You boys and girls, get your asses over there and see what the hell's going on. And if it's what they say it is, you nail them damn fish. Or we close the damn cornfields. But Mr. Meyer, you listen to me, you dumb dick, for the first time in your life. This is an election year. We gotta at least make some kind of a half-ass effort to act like we care. You got me? Now, you go do what you need to do and get the hell out of here. No, 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 we think you're going, Lois Lane. Ace reporter, we're gonna have a little chat, you and I. It's not like going down to the pond chasing bass and crappies, is it, Mr. Mayor? No, that's why me and you, we're gonna walk the perimeter. I'm gonna ring the damn dinner bell myself, see if anything pops up to get a little snack. I think I have some things in my car that might help us. Well, let's go do it, man. You need a ride? Um, no, no thanks. I'm good. Are you sure? I mean, it's starting to rain outside. You look a little bit frazzled. We're gonna head up to Druid Hills. I don't mind giving you a ride, or do you want me to call somebody for you or something? All right, talk me into it. I'm ripped <laughs> here. Didn't, uh, I know you're a cop and all, but didn't your mom teach you not to pick up strangers? You know, to be a good cop, you've got to have good instincts, right? <laughs> all right. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. This back here in the back seat, this is Teddy Bo Lucas, self-proclaimed serial killer or something. So he says he's going to take me up to Druid Hills. There's supposedly a burial mound where he's killed all these people. Really? Yeah. I'm intrigued. <laughs> you should be. So what's your name? Uh, Murray. Murray Benchley. Well, nice to meet you, Murray. I'm Chief Scheider. Vera, from Chance, Kentucky. So where are you headed? Uh, coincidentally, Druid Hills. All roads lead to Druid Hills, people. Huh. Well, that worked out good for you, didn't it? Yes. Yes, it did. What you got in that briefcase? Um, paperwork? Blueprints? Mr. Benchley, I can feel what you have in there. You believe in predestination? Not 
really? <laughs> you should, my friend. You should. Everything is falling into place. Everything. You two know each other? No. No. We're closing in on Benchley. He's moving fast now. It's almost like he's in a car. No worries. We're going to sneak up on him kind of unexpectedly. And then we're going to bite him in the balls. Balls! <laughs> Got your gun locked and loaded? Um, sir, I left my piece back at base. What do I pay you for? How are the handicapped, they say? It'll be fun to watch. Oh, man. Do I gotta do everything myself? You know, you can pick some of that toe cheese out and we have some nasty ammunition to throw at the bad guys. Bad guys. Yeah, there he is. We're gonna nail that guy and destroy that shark pup. Destroy that pup! I see somebody in there, but I don't think they're coming. Yeah, they're moving around there. Hmm. I think they're terrified. Yeah, they just ran into the other room. Well, hell, we're on our own, I guess. Yeah, and then we'll just go check out that cornfield. All right. Looks harmless. Why don't you go in there and take a look around? <laughs> no, sir, not without you. Get on in there. Let's see if we can find those bodies. The mayor wants to know about this, and we got to get back to him right away. Now we're gonna go in there and take a look around. If we see anything, we'll just shoot them with our guns. I don't think that's gonna work. Get in there a little bit closer. Go on. Come on now. Come on. You come go. On. Come on. Ladies no first. Ladies. Get on in there deep, Rosenberg. Let's take a look around. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? Well, if there's bodies in there, we gotta find them. We gotta clean this place up and see what's going on here. Man, what the hell is the rush, man? We, you, you did this all in training. We took that course for 12 hours. I taught you all this stuff. You should know better. I thought I heard something. Oh shit. I thought I saw, saw a fin or a reflection or something. Saw what? Oh shit. I don't think we're in here alone. Come on now. Everything is coming together exactly as planned. I can feel it in my bones. What about you, Chief? You feeling that excitement buzz? Teddy, this is just all so weird. Base to Chief. Go ahead, Grossman. How are you making out, Chief? We're doing okay. We're almost there. Well, you, you be careful out there, Chief. We're getting some odd and discerning reports from Jew and Heels. Wait, what kind of reports? Well, to be quite honest, we're getting some attack reports on people. People are being attacked in Druid Hills, in cornfields, by sharks. Uh, shark attacks? Um, okay. <laughs> uh, thanks for the heads up. Over and out, Chief.
Socks and the popcorn. Doggone it. Sharks everywhere. Chief? More coffee. So what do you think? You still gonna head to Druid Hills with me? Well, Chief, I got a confession. Actually, with the CIA, I'm an agent. Been investigating this shark cult for many months now, and you know, initially it was just investigative and speculative. But now with Teddy and all these murders, we're taking it more serious. At first, we thought the mafia was involved, um, but it turns out that we think maybe they just knew something really bad was coming. So. As of now, I'm not sure what all is going on, but it's officially been upgraded from some crackpot niche group to an actual terrorism threat against the United States. You got that right, sucker. It's going down right now. You're going down too. I knew there was something about you. Just an intuition. <laughs> Good call. Smart cookie. So what do you think? Do you want to go on into the eye of the storm? Fucking hey. Well, let's go. Jesus Christ, Captain Quint, where'd you help you get that thing? Local pawn shop has got lucky, I guess. You never know what you're running into at the old hawk shops. Better watch them pawn shops, boy. I know somebody bought a pair of panties there one time. Ended up with gonorrhea and the damn herpes. Yeah. Don't want to buy no rubbers there either. I just read about the Chinese. They're taking used rubbers, cleaning them out, and reselling them. Damn, that's some nasty shit. Yeah. Hoping my uh, order would get here in time before you actually went into these stocks. Order? What the hell are you talking about? What'd you order? Pizza? Well... Hey, Jonathan. Hey. I think it's you ordered and uh, you're a bit harder to find than usual. Oh yeah, out fishing actually. Uh, thank you. You guys rule. Well, let it be a service. What the hell was that? Oh, it's amazing.com. They deliver. A, I belong to the Pronto program, so I get packages in four hours and free streaming movies right to my phone. What are you, the damn spokesperson for? <laughs> what the hell? That old boy must have hemorrhoids or something. I thought that was his last delivery today. And what is all this? Flea collars? They're shark repellent bracelets, like off, but for sharks. They're designed to work underwater where the sound travels faster and further, but they should have some nominal effect in the open air. Uh, in close proximity at least, I hope. Well, I'll be dipped in shit. You can get anything from Amazing.com. Still, I ain't gonna wear one of those things, you putts. Don't matter. There ain't no sharks out here. Probably a wild cat. Maybe a bear. Hell, maybe your old friend Bigfoot really is the one out here doing all this. Well, this might repel those predators too. I don't know. Well, as long as you keep me safe, Mr. Shark Hunter boy. Ah, uh, you know, if you come in here, it's gonna be at your own risk. You sure you don't want some flippers and a snorkel too, you dumbass? Well, at least you won't need a bigger mouth if you start screaming in there. You got that much going for you. Let's go. Buried my sister. 
This is the burial mound you're talking about? Yes, ma'am. I believe it is. It's all coming back now. All the victim's blood will align with the power of Stonehenge and the Crimson Moon. Chichi Matul will become one with the Shark Goddess. All those martyrs in the field will be reborn in the Great Becoming. In her honor! So this is where everything lines up with Stonehenge. All right, uh, we need to go in and destroy the sharks and the source. Do you have any more weapons? Actually, I do. I've got a backpack back here that Grossman gave me. Hold on to this fucking freak. And I think it has a bunch of weapons in it, even a grenade. A grenade? Probably from some peaceful protesters. Okay, I'm gonna need to borrow your phone. Time to call in the big guns. Things are about to get real. Now, now, Chief. Knocking out a CIA agent, a fellow comrade. I think you just overstepped your jurisdiction. <laughs> You know, all my life have been nothing to anybody. I've always been nothing but a fucking failure. Never been good for anybody. I've always been spit on by family and friends. And I'm sick and tired of it. I'm so tired of just doing things for everybody else and nobody giving a fuck about me. Snow, I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna do this for Lorna. She needs to be reborn, and I'm not a failure anymore. So I wanna make sure that I merge with the great white shark cult. I now know that wrong is right, and I wanna be with the becoming of Chichi Metal. I didn't believe you at first, Teddy. I really was on the fence about it. But now I know you're telling the truth the whole time. And I'll do anything possible to make sure that Lorna is reborn again. I knew it. This is perfect. You were the one all along. Chief, I am honored and humbled, as it has been written. Let me get you out of these. <laughs> ah. <laughs> we need my shark jaws and what's in Benchley's briefcase to complete the perfect circle. This is the 13th pup. The 13th pup from Chi Chi Metal! You mean the Great White Shark's babies? Exactly. The people watching over her have been collecting her stillborns for decades. I bury them here in the field with the other martyrs. Like your sister. This is the last one we need to lay to rest for the becoming. It's finally time. Well, let's do this, my friend. So far, so good. You doing okay, Mr. Mayor? Oh, I'm just sitting in butter back here myself. Hey, wait, you hear that? I thought I heard a car. You think it might be Rosenberg and Kramer? Maybe, but... They haven't contacted us yet, though. I know. Damn, what? What? 
You hear something? See something? I saw something. It was gray, something gray. It was like a flash. Well, maybe your old buddy Bigfoot, he's wearing a gray sports jacket. He's going to the daytime Emmy Awards or something. At least they haven't attacked us yet. But you are blessed. She's a martyr for Chichi Matona. So, so she'll live again when I become the shark goddess? Yes, but like you said, you have to want to do it for you. Oh, I do. I just, I just want her to have a chance to come back in the most purest of forms. Feel the power. Feel the power of the blood sacrifices I've made for you with those shark jobs. Begin your calling. It's almost time. Dress as the shark scarecrow, and when the blood moon rises tonight, the Stonehenge energy will give us the cosmic revelations we yearn for. He's right there, somewhere down in the cornfield. Did you see that? 
that helicopter. The shark kicked it right out of the sky. Give me a chance to get out of there. Who are you? Oh, I, I'm one of the good guys. I, I think Jonathan Gottlieb. Um, I'm the publisher of the Druid Hills Corn Gazette. Me and Mayor Zanuck, we went in there to investigate the corn sharks and uh, they got him. Okay, look. I'm Murray Benchley. I'm with the CIA. I was investigating this with Chief Vera Scheider, uh, but she hit me on the back of the head and ran in there with one of the cult murderers. Traitor! Well, she's part of the problem now. So you're up to speed on everything? Yeah, yes, yeah, sir, I think so. If these lunatic shark cultists have their way, it'll be the end of the world as we know it. No doubt. So, what do we do now? All right, look. It's gonna be dark soon. So I say we wait until cover of darkness, then go in when they least expect it, and take them out. All right, I'm with you. I've got shark repellent bracelets from Amazing.com, harpoon gun from the pawn shop. Cool, I've got a bag full of girly toys that should uh... make a lot of noise. All right, well, let's not let this pie go stale. No doubt. Show me the way to go home. Ah, uh, yeah, we probably should see what is going on here. Tonight we come full circle. Everything is aligned for Chichi Matul and the Becoming. The 666 martyrs have been served and lie in this cornfield. The blood of the shark teeth has been ingested. And we now live in the prophetic revelations as the blood moon rises. As it is written, we have a mortal volunteer to become one with Chichimato. By the power of Stonehenge, I pro-offer the final pup and Vera Shiner's willing soul. In your honor and glory, almighty Chichi Mato. Hmm. Sure is getting crowded in here. Yeah, what happened to the Cronin virus and social distancing? I wanna tell Governor Andy about this one. Do we need a reason? Just look around at the state of humanity. Inferior, weak, sickly, frail, divided, hateful, afraid. Truly the monsters, the viruses of this age, becoming one with Chichimatul, will absolve us of these shortcomings. We will all be part of the same mindset in the becoming rulers of this planet and eventually the universe i pro offer the 13th pup
The barriers are now unbound. What was once impossible is now possible. The festival of the Sanguinary is upon us. The last serious attempt having taken place 1300 years ago when the earth ran red with blood sacrifices, famine, and war. All hail to our craft! Witchcraft. Stonehenge and the moon are in alignment. It is time to change the world with the becoming. Chichimatul, we are one with her now, and I am her protector. I call upon the ancient powers of Strigoi. So this is what happens? I guess we better do something besides watch this like it's a bad movie. Smile, you son of a bitch! I guess we did it. <laughs> now this is a story for your paper. Yeah, but, uh, but was that was that was really Bigfoot? Yeah, with a big fucking rock. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid he would be real, but uh, no doubt now. <sighs> Let's get out of here so you can write that up. You got it. Ready? Do it. Have a look.